Good morning, Blessed Souls. Brainy Twin Gemini here for July 17th, 2020. First and foremost, I want to thank you all so much for the love, the likes, the subs, the sense of community on our channel. It really warms my heart, and I love you all so, so much. So today, 717, I wanted to do this today because this number's been jumping out at me for um, a couple of weeks now, and it it's not like I look for this. It just, it seems to happen like 717 views and all sorts of things. It comes out like even at work, I'm seeing 717. So um, I wanted to do this today because it's July the 17th, 717. And it's a signif significant number um, on this journey. And again, as many of you know, I'm a messenger on this journey and I have a gift and these gifts are meant to be delivered to you. So I wanted to do this today just because 717 is a significant number in terms of physical reun reuniting. So I wanted to do that today. Also wanted to shout out to um, a very dear friend of mine um, who has been with me on this journey from the very beginning. And uh, God love her soul. She has never passed judgment. She's always put um, good um, vibrations out there and always always she's been with me she's seen the phenomenons that I've I've kind of gone through in the last year she's been there she's seen the freaky things that happen so I want to wish you a very very happy birthday and um you know on this day you were born um the earth gained an angel so happy birthday you know who you are um so I'm gonna get started here um through all the signs and things I've seen in the last couple days so first and foremost listen to the music today um, I believe that your your divine is communicating to you through music. So um, listen to the music. Um, two songs that resonate with me personally is Into Deep, uh, Sum 41, and Free Falling by Tom Petty. And the numbers that I've seen in the last 24 hours, 717, I can't run from it. It's almost like I'm screaming from this number. 1010, um, 1111, 11, 555, 444, 1212. And again, don't look for this. So also to um, I, this moth is, has been following me for days. And yesterday a friend came to visit and they even noticed. They were like, what is with this moth? And I'm like, I have no idea. It's following me everywhere. The front, the back, everywhere. I went over the moth the other day. But what I'm resonating with the moth is drama. And just remove any drama or um, anything that's not serving you in your life right now. There's some interference. That's the drama. And if if you allow the drama in your life, you're just going to um, put blocks into the connection. So um, because this, this, this connection is a very complex journey and drama can't be a part of it. So that's kind of what I'm getting from the moth. Um, I saw um, a rabbit. I've been seeing a rabbit every single day on the lawn. Creativity. Um, uh, there's fear, uh, you know, associated with the rabbit, which I also have written down. Um, and just luck, abundance. So there's good things associated with the rabbit, but there's some fear. And um, yeah, moth. With, okay. Restless. Some of you have been restless and you haven't been sleeping well. Um, that could be because you're getting to your higher sense of yourself. And in the nighttime, that's kind of when the downloads come to your conscious mind. So you may be restless, um, having sleepless nights. Um, yeah, the, some, for some of you, the root is f still blocked because there's that fear associated with it. My confirmation is the rabbit. So work on your root chakra. And another blockage is the throat chakra. And the throat chakra, you could have neck, shoulder, um, throat, um, and thyroid problems. And it can cause this kind of behavior, um, arrogance, deception, domineering, and manipulative. But if it once you unblock it, it promotes effective, truthful communication, and you are able to find your true, authentic you. So if you feel these pains in your neck, your shoulder, um, your thyroid, your throat, meditate the color blue and focus on the color blue. And maybe add some blue to your de decor, like some blue flowers or something like that. And try and unblock that throat chakra, um, because I, you know, I was saying this about the shoulder pain. Um, it's it it's gone now. Um, I get this when I'm meant to get it. So I went through the fear, um, unconditional love, um, and again, what resonates resonates. What doesn't doesn't. Kindly don't leave comments on the wall saying it doesn't resonate. 
Not everything is going to resonate with you. If you have feedback for me personally, send me an email. I'll gladly oblige. But please do not disrupt the energy of the, the community nor the channel. Um, and if it doesn't resonate, go somewhere where it does. Simply just don't put that there. Thank you so much. Um, so there's unconditional love, oodles and oodles of love mirroring back and forth in this energy field right now. And it's it's great. So um, another thing I want to go over is three crows. Um, I sit outside and do my work on my laptop mostly. And three crows, literally, I could hear them. Um, I thought, you know, well, I hear them. And then they flew kind of over the house, over me. And the other day I was talking about marriage. Three crows represent marriage. So I can't literally run from this stuff. Um, and sometimes it's daunting because I don't look for it. But three crows definitely do represent marriage. So both energies um, are kind of having this vision of a marriage with each other. And then lastly... Um, <laughs> I have to say it because my neighbor mentioned it again the other day. Um, so, um, I have wild mushrooms growing everywhere <laughs> and, um, it's a sign of good fortune, a sign of good luck. And, um, I, you know, I read some biblical things about it and it says, you know, anointed by God and God's, um, word or wisdom. So very, very, very good signs without even um, flipping. I just want to make sure I have everything. Yeah, I've left a few things out um, just because I do. <laughs> because I flip the cards out of my own entertainment, to be quite honest. So what I normally do is, if you're new, I do four cards of current masculine energy. Masculine energy, if they could say anything to the feminine energy, what would they say? And then the overall energy of both. Now, I want to go over the energy real quick. Um, it's just energy. So you could be a masculine body, like a, a male, um, it, um, with female energy or vice versa. It depends on where you are in this journey. And I have so many videos to explain, um, you know, what the dynamic of the energy is and at the end of the day you're supposed to have a ha healthy balance of both so i'm going to get started i'm going to call it to my divine mentor for four cards yeah <laughs> i can't So I always leave stuff out of my journal because this is primarily for my own entertainment because the cards never cease to amaze me. So lessons here. So what I resonate with this card is specifically with this moth that's been following me around and this and this this drama thing. Um, I don't know why I'm picking up on this energy and again what resonates what resonates what doesn't doesn't. Um, there's drama or. Um, People, there's interference in this connection and you're not learning your lessons, you know, um, not everybody understands the complexity and, and of this love, this profound, beautiful love. And despite your feeble attempts to try and explain it, people don't understand, you know, um, and, you know, they were putting negative manifestations out into the universe, almost suggesting that you're delusional. Um, so be careful who you trust. Stay close to the people that understand this journey because they will put positive manifestations out into the universe for you. And I love it. I love it so much. So this is masculine here. Okay. Masculine energy. So learning lessons, but also <laughs> I feel in the last, <laughs> there's been a lot of, a lot of lessons being learned, but there's still some that still are yet to be learned. If that makes any sense but but they're learning nonetheless I can't believe this um, soul searching totally have this I should read it from my journal because my journal is you know is raw channeled energy 
and it usually takes me about two hours in the morning to go through, but soul searching. So what I put in my journal this morning is, um, when you came into physical unity, when you, when you had that recognition, that, that, that physical recognition, soul recognition, what it does is it brings you to the inner depths of your soul and it helps heal your soul. And right now, there's some soul searching going on. This is an evolution. It's, it's, it, it happens. It's, it's a journey. And it just, it doesn't end. It, it's like it evolves one day at a time. And some, sometimes you take two steps forwards and a step backwards. But you're always one further step ahead. And there's a lot of soul searching right now. And going through that to the inner depths of the soul. And doing what's required and that's healing and it's beautiful and I love it so 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 much I can't <laughs> I can't okay so ego look at that tall 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 build building so um, what does that suggest it suggests that somebody it's a fairly big ego and um, part of the journey this journey is to crucify and kill that ego tough and when you come into each other um, one person's not ready to kill the ego and rebirth but what I feel is that ego um, I'm feeling and everything I do is in the now not the future not the past no what I feel is they're dying that ego's dying and that fear and that doubt and that confusion all of that nasty stuff associated with the ego is dissipating. And it's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> Manifesting. Exactly what I was saying. Um, kind of, you know, the manifesting going on. Um, I feel two things here. I feel that there's, there's positive manifestations going out to the universe. Absolute positive manifestation. Be careful what you manifest. You know, doubt. You're manifesting doubt back into um, into the energy field. Fear. You're manifesting that. But I feel a lot of that's dying. But I feel that some people in your circle are not manifesting good things for you. So just keep your love sacred in your heart and have faith in your journey. But I do feel that the people that do support you in this journey are manifesting good things into the universe. And I love it. I love it so much. So that's that. And if they could say anything to you right now, what would they say? I can't, I, I just can't. These cards, like... <laughs> Oops. I'm going to call out for four cards, please. So this is the message to the feminine energy. Four cards, please. Thank you. Can't. <laughs> Too many. I cannot. Pretty much just, um, all right. A 3D world. What's a 3D world? Third dimensional world. That's what we live in. We live in a third dimensional world. And I'm going to resonate this ego with the third dimensional right now and some of the interference. So because of that interference, this ego comes into play. It, your ego always wants to resurrect in the 3D world. When you're in the fifth dimension, you don't have an ego. But in, in the 3D world, you have an, you know, when you get down to that low vibration, you get that ego. It comes into play. Your ego always wants to win. It's part of you, your entire life. Be careful. And I feel, and I said this about a month and a half ago, um, if you go to one of my videos, I said something is brewing in the universe. Um, and again, just a messenger here. But I feel something's brewing in the 3D dimensional world. And I feel that there is going to be some movement in 
physical um, being, flesh coming together. I feel that. And hence the reason why I've been seeing 717. The divine reaches out to me to reach out to you. So I can't tell you who. <laughs> I can't tell you when. I can tell you it's brewing in the 3D world. This basically just um, clarifies that as well. So an offer's coming. Um, I keep thinking of this marriage, engagement. Um, an offer is absolutely coming for some. And I love it. I love it so much. It's just beautiful. Um, cross Crossroad. Okay? The crossroad, again, ego, soul searching. This crossroad is, what do I do now? You know, I'm at a crossroads right now. Um, you know, I'm undergoing all of this uncomfortable, um, you know, ego death, you know, doing the soul searching. I'm doing all of this and I'm at a crossroads right now. So they want you to know that they're at a crossroad. But that's not a bad thing. Um, it's a good thing. You know, it's, it's because there's movement forward. You know, two steps forward, one step back. You're always one step ahead. And I love it. I love it so much. And courage. Okay. I, I was saying fear, but I was saying that the, the overcoming the fear. That's this. Okay. The ego is dying. The ego is dying for many. And it's beautiful. And I love it. And I love it so much. I want to go over that ego death because it's not an easy thing to endeavor. It's one of the hardest things you'll have to go through in one's life. It is very, very tough. But courage. And I love it, you know. Maybe this and this, you know. Courage to give the offer. Um, courage in the 3D world. It's such a beautiful card. It's, it's so, 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 so good. And I love it. So they have courage offer um and 3d world i love it so much <laughs> sorry um where'd it go here so now i'm gonna do like the overall energy as of now for this collective group Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. So there's some anger going on and part of the journey as well. You know, it's a roller coaster ride of emotion. And I don't feel the anger is coming from either one of you, to be, if that makes any sense. I feel the anger is coming from an outside party influence interference. They're angry um, with your love or whatever you have for each other. There's some anger and some frustration, but it's not coming from you. Um, and that anger is being brought into your energy field with this drama. There's some drama going on. And so I'm not resonating this card with um, the energy field because I'm not feeling it. But because of this anger and the drama, the connection's being blocked. Because if you get into a low vibration, you won't move, there won't be movement forward. So look around, see what's not serving you. Some people will say they're happy for you, but think that other thoughts, you know, and if you put thought to word, that's a manifestation into the universe. The moment you put the thought into word, it's manifesting. So something's blocking Someone or something is blocking this connection. And, but what, um, from moving, from movement forward. Um, yeah, just trying to figure out. Yeah, it's, there's some kind, there's some form of, some form of interference. That's all I can say. And, um, it's blocking. 
But one thing I can say is that this connection cannot be severed. It's a bond that can never be broken. This will go. This will go. It's passing. Exactly what I said with the rabbit. Creative, creative side. Many of you are tapping into your creativity. When you came into each other, you um, sparked that creativity within. And you're, you're, you're creative. You're tapping into that creative side. And I love it. I love it so much. I absolutely said this. It's written down. <laughs> Unconditional. I can't. Like, the stuff I cannot. Um, unconditional love. Unconditional love is loving freely. I sound like a broken record all the time without ask or a condition. But I feel this amazing, beautiful love in the last couple of days between the energy fields. And it's beautiful. And you both realize it's a bond that can't be severed. And you're just you're just mirroring back and manifesting unconditional love for one one another. And it's beautiful. This is the best place to be. You're doing amazing, and I love it, and I love it so much. Great, great job. Always have to get back to that unconditional love. I always say love conquers. It'll conquer the interference. It'll conquer the drama, you know. Don't get caught up in that low vibration and get caught up in that anger. Somebody is jealous um, of this love. So I'm going to call out for four cards. Um, if they could say anything right now, what would they say? Different messages. <laughs> it's amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I feel like I'm obsessing over you. Um, exactly what the card says. Just be careful of obsession of obsessing because obsessing is sometimes not a good thing. But I don't feel like this is a bad obsession. I that's not what I'm channeling at this moment. I feel like it's a good thing. I'm I'm feeling like obsession in um, the you know with the offer. And the courage and all good, good things associated with it. I don't feel as this is a bad obsession. Absolutely resonates with the unconditional love. I feel your love around me constantly. I feel both of you feel that love, that unconditional love. And it's beautiful. And I love it so much. <laughs> I think you're sexy. Um, <laughs> it, this card came out the other day, so uh, I guess they... Um, the think you're sexy and beautiful and love you just for who you are and in your in their eyes you're beautiful and wonderful a goddess a queen and a princess vice versa you both 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 think each other's sexy and this is beautiful and i absolutely wrote this um in my journal today you are my best friend when you were together physically time stood still you were your true authentic you and it, it is so beautiful. You had laughter. You had just, you know, just you. Everything was natural. It was effortless. Last, I'm going to give you this to take for, with you today. This loving message on this beautiful day of July 17th. 717. Quality of your thoughts equals the quality of life you experience. Thoughts are living energies that have enormous influence on what you attract into your life. Think love. Think love and that's what you will attract. Sorry, I'm having like epic tech, tech fails with my phone. So again, exactly what it says. What, the, what, what card came out um, earlier? The manifestation card. Be careful of your thoughts. The quality of your thoughts. And just keep putting that unconditional love 
into the universe. You will always, always, always come back. So I want to thank you so much for the love, the likes, the subs, the sense of community on our channel. It truly, truly does warm my heart. And if this resonates, thumbs up. Have a great day, folks.